Um, good morning, KM World. Uh, great to be back. Um, I'm going to do a really, I'm, I'm Agnes's uh, warm up act, actually. I'm going to do a really short introduction. Um, so, uh, I'm Dave Clark. I'm the founder of a company called Synaptica. And what we do is we develop software to help people do enterprise taxonomy management, ontology management. And the really exciting stuff that we're working on is all graph uh, at the moment. And um, we've been in a very elevated, lofty uh, space of, of AI for that fascinating panel discussion this morning. I'm going to be talking, or we're going to be talking about something that's really grassroots and down to earth about our world of making information accessible. Um, and uh, it is, uh, it's going to be what happens when all this good stuff that we do, the knowledge organization that we do, goes into something that is uh, very, very widely used, SharePoint. Um, Office uh, 365, um, and there are some, some consequences when uh, information is moved into, uh, from, from rich taxonomy management systems into SharePoint uh, that um, we, we need to address. So Synaptica partnered with Search Explained um, in the last 12 months, and uh, Agnes is the, um, uh, the guru goddess of Search Explained and SharePoint, and we, we've really enjoyed partnering with Agnes to say there has to be some way that we can tackle pain points that have been um, with SharePoint for, uh, for, for many, many years. I'm going to focus on one example in detail, but briefly, to, uh, to explain what, what this is all about. I have these uh, Professor Dumbledore glasses, so I, excuse me. Um, so we, uh, what I've got on screen here is one single concept from uh, the academic publisher Gail Sengage. Um, it's cystic fibrosis. It's a rich thesaurus that they manage, so it's got lots of synonyms. It's got polyhierarchy. It's got associative relationships and so forth. Let me schematize that so it's a little easier to read. Um, if we look at... Uh, cystic fibrosis. We've got all this rich taxonomy about it. And this is really knowledge. It's knowledge organized. And I want to show you what happens when this goes into SharePoint. So let's start with hierarchy. This isn't in one hierarchical pathway. It's in four. People, might, people have different angles and ways of accessing information. So it could be signs and symptoms. It could be I'm coming at this from uh, the digestive uh, system or pediatric uh, approach. Um, what happens when this goes into SharePoint is this. First pain point. Only the first parent relationship pathway is going to be recognized. Everything else is going to be ignored. All those other access points are simply ignored. Major pain point. Let's move on to synonyms, alternative labels, synonyms. So here, cystic fibrosis may be known to people through other phrases, other labels. And um, uh, what happens when these come in to SharePoint is this. They are recognized, can be recognized as other labels. Um, that's the SharePoint term, other labels in Term Store. Um, and they are visible to the tagging system, but they are effectively redacted when it comes to end user search. They simply are no longer visible to end user search. Second pain point, and again, a major one. Now let's have a look at associative relationships. So related in the Cengage uh, uh, thesaurus here to cystic fibrosis are other things. They don't belong at a pathway. They're not alternative uh, labels. But they are incredibly useful for recommending other content, for recommending other information. What we're dealing with here in these uh, examples are things like drugs, things like therapies. Now, it would be very good if you were looking at some content about cystic fibrosis as a condition to know about therapies and drugs that are related. But what happens is they all go. They all go. And the really crazy thing is um, what you end up with, OK, this is what you end up with, uh, is actually n the vast majority of things simply disappear. And we have been living with this for years. So um, when I partnered with, uh, uh, with Agnes, we decided to try and really kill this problem, 
kill this pain. Um, so it's an aspirin here. It's um, <laughs> um, so we've come up with something we call discovery for SharePoint, and um, it is basically what we think is a cure for all the headaches caused by search, browse, and tag within SharePoint. My little disclaimer here. All medical things have disclaimers. So the known side effects may be include sudden clarity of vision, increased productivity, and um, extreme euphoria. Agnes, over to you. So after this, so th thank you, Dave, for this introduction and all those pain points and everything. I am here to tell you all the good news. So uh, basically, I have a, a different example, but a, a very similar one at the same time. So this is how it looks like in Synaptica in an advanced and non-SharePoint taxonomy management system. So we have a term which has poly hierarchy. It can have related terms. It can have all the fancy and advanced stuff that SharePoint cannot do. Um, and if we switch to SharePoint, you all you know you all know this out of the box user experience when you have documents and you have to tag those documents. So up until uh, now. If you use the Manage Metadata Term Store, of course you can use it, but with all of its uh, limited uh, feature set and with its uh, limited functionality when it comes to uh, tagging and, and using those, those terms in your documents. But with Discovery for SharePoint, we created a, a custom user interface uh, which, number one, is not as ugly as the term store in SharePoint. Uh, second, uh, it respects all the things that Dave has mentioned as pain points. So talking about this example of accounting fraud, which has three parent terms, which means poly hierarchy. So you, you define this poly hierarchy in Synaptica, and in this application, you can see that if I want to tag a document, uh, I can see this poly hierarchy uh, represented on this user interface. So this is, on, on, uh, on this first screen, you can see accounting fraud uh, below corporate crime. This is parent number one. Parent number two was financial information disclosure. Again, accounting fraud is below that. I can find it, I can see it, I can tag the document with it. And the third one is also represented here. And as many as you have defined in your uh, taxonomy, it's, it's all being here. So the tagging experience is much nicer. The user can search for the terms, the user can find the terms based on the, the hierarchy and uh, poly hierarchy is absolutely uh, respected and supported here. But as you know, I work for a company called Search Explain, so the story would not be complete without a nice search experience. Because in the end, the ultimate goal is always to, to make information and knowledge retrieval and findability easier for the users. So once again, this is out of the box, uh, SharePoint search uh, user interface, but we just enhanced it a little bit. First of all, uh, we used some out-of-the-box uh, display templates to display those tags that are coming from Synaptica, which is very easy, and it, this is not the big deal of, of uh, this example. But on the left side, you can see my term, accounting fraud, being listed three times. Why? Because this is a hierarchical a view of my taxonomy, and actually I do have a poly hierarchy here, which is this, this way is represented in the refiner, so if you click on any of them, uh, you will see all the documents that are tagged with uh, this term. But also, there are some more features that we can use if we use advanced taxonomy and not and, and if we don't rely on the out-of-the-box uh, metadata term store. Namely, uh, you can define 
like related terms, are other associations between terms, non-hierarchical relationships between uh, your terms. And based on this relationship, we can use it to suggest uh, related searches and even related content to the user. So when they do any search in SharePoint, you, they, they can see the primary result set, of course, but also they can see suggestions, other searches based on the taxonomy, and also related documents based on the taxonomy, which can be really, really powerful if you think about it. So we use all the, uh, all the power of, of the, of the uh, taxonomy uh, and uh, try to provide a rich and uh, better search experience. Uh, but it goes beyond SharePoint. So everything I showed you on, up until now is on SharePoint. But it can, we can go beyond that, of course. So if you think about your taxonomy management system, it can be connected to many other systems, not only SharePoint. And you use a centralized taxonomy management system, you connect it to SharePoint, you connect it to your digital asset management system, or anything else, but still you manage your taxonomy in a centralized application, right? And for, again, if you use the management of data term store, that's for SharePoint only. So this is one uh, big, difference, uh, big difference between these two approaches that if you use a centralized taxonomy management system, it can be connected to as many systems as you like. But if you think about it one step further, and once again, I'm going back to search, you can connect those other systems to the same search engine that you use. If you use SharePoint search, that's nice. If you use something else, that's also feasible. But the point is, you have as many content management systems, the digital asset management systems as you like, you have a centralized taxonomy, and based on this centralized taxonomy, you can also have a unified search experience. As you know, metadata and taxonomy is one, one of the most powerful things that you can fit to search to improve search. So if you have this power with a centralized taxonomy management system, you can use it to enrich the search experience and unify the search experience across, or, or across your systems. And this is really, really uh, powerful. Uh, again, and as I said, this goes beyond SharePoint, but the search engine itself can be uh, SharePoint. So uh, basically, those are the pain points that we try to kill with Discovery with uh, SharePoint. You can find both Dave and I and the Synaptica team at the booth 101 uh, after the keynote, uh, and thank you very much.